There's so many questions about insurance coverage, and we've got you covered today with three amazing experts who know all about open enrollment here. Uh, during the break, a bunch of people were texting in about that 65 and up penalty if you don't sign up when you're 65. So can we talk a little bit more about that, starting with if you have your employer's insurance at 65, do you still sign up for Medicare? Yes, you still sign up. And if you, um, you are given the option during that time to waive the policy, waive the Part B um, and take it later. But if you don't actually sign up for the waiver, if you just ignore it or turn it down, it is yours to carry with you for the remainder of your time that you're on Medicare. So what we urge people to do is talk with their HR departments if they're employed, compare Medicare, going on to Medicare with what uh, is the best relationship to their current insurance. But in all cases, if that 65 window, do the paperwork so that you're not caught with a penalty when you do finally retire and lose your health care insurance with your employer. And how long when you're 65 do you have to do this? Do you have to do it before you turn 65 or before you turn 66? There's a seven month window, three months before your birthday month, your birthday month and three months after. And, and that, that window is very fixed um, and the paperwork is really pretty direct, but you do need to be thinking ahead of time about making that deadline, put it on your calendar um, and then do that investigating if you're going to stay employed during that time to understand what the implications are of going one way or the other. And you're talking about a 10% penalty here. Why is that? Why do they put that in place? You know, we get asked that every time we do this, this program. And the only answer I can say is because it's been there forever. <laughs> Um, and it actually accrues. And so if you can imagine being 85 and still paying your 10% penalty with the accrual, uh, it's considerable because Part B right now is $148. So think about the 10% accruing on a year by year basis. Sounds frustrating for a lot of folks, but I'm glad you're here to make sure they don't fall into that. Uh, someone else said, I started getting Social Security at 62 and was told I'd automatically be enrolled in Medicare at 65. Is that correct? I see a lot of heads shaking no. No, you still need to do your paperwork. You should never trust that you're automatically enrolled in anything when it comes to insurance, correct? That's a very good piece of advice. Why is it so important to double check all your paperwork here and make sure that you're signed up correctly? Morgan, I think you should answer that one. For, for Medicare? For any insurance at all, because I know a lot of us just want to do it and move on quickly, but we really need to take our time, correct? Right. So if you don't take your time and you don't calculate your income correctly, when you go and you take too much of a tax credit, when you go to file your taxes where you might be accustomed to getting a refund, you might actually have a bill that you have to pay to the IRS. And it might have been due to the fact that you got a raise uh, from your employer and you did not report that to healthcare.gov and you did not update that income and it changed your modified adjusted gross income. Yikes, no one wants a surprise bill and you also don't wanna miss out on your chance for open enrollment one more time. What's the best pitch on why you should do it now? Well, uh, open enrollment is running through May 15th. So if it's after May 15th and you don't have a qualifying event, you will be without health insurance for the rest of the year. So you should go to healthcare.gov now. Uh, you might want to uh, do a little shopping and then come back to it in a week or so, because uh, as we mentioned before, there's legislation happening in Washington right now that could change what you pay. So well, take a look now, shop around, and then maybe go back and finalize it in a couple weeks. Thank you so much.